that people speak well in English, it was uh, William Shakespeare. I should know, he wrote me too. My name is Portia, and I am one of the lead roles of Shakespeare's play, A Merchant of Venice. It takes too long to explain exactly what the story is about, but let's just say that I sell a very tricky poker by disguising myself as a man and speaking very well. That is why I've been asked to moderate the annual Shakespeare's Shakespeare speaking contest. What is that? It is simple, really. Several characters from the place perform speech, and the audience decides which is best. It sounds easy, but believe me, it isn't. You see, some of the contestants don't see the rules, or someone who hasn't signed up for the contest steps onto the stage anyway. So bear with me, okay? And listen well. I will ask for your votes at the end of the show. Now let me introduce our first candidate. She is a queen, no less. Ladies and gentlemen, Titania the Fairy Queen. Over hill, over dale, through bush, through briar, over park, over pale, through flood, through fire, I do wander everywhere, swifter than the moon's white sphere, for I am the fairy queen, and dew my herbs upon the green. The cows that saw my pensioners be, in their gold coat spots you see, those are rubies, fairy favors, and those freckles with their savors. I must go seek some dew drops here. Hang a pearl in every cowlet's ear. And farewell, gentle spirits, I'll be gone. But myself and all else who will return on on. Well, thank you very much, Your Majesty. Our next contestant is of royal blood as well. It's Prince Hamlet of Denmark. Oh, well, it seems like he's already here. Seems, madam. No, it is. I know not seems. It's not alone my inky cloak, good lady, nor customary suits of solemn black. Nor any suspiration of false breath. No, not a fruit for river in the eye. Not a dejected behavior of visage. Together with all forms, moods, shapes of grief, that can denote me truly. These seem an act, because they are all things that a man might play. But I have that point in which past the show, these and trappings and suits of work. Okay, uh, Hamlet, are you done? Was there your speech? What? No, I prepared a monologue. Well, I'm sorry, but your time's up. Shoot, go on. See, that's what I meant. Anyways, please welcome Romeo Montague, citizen of Verona. What light through yonder window breaks? It is the east, Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon, who is already sick and pale with grief, that thou, my mate, art far more fair than she. It is, my lady, oh, it is my love. Oh, that she knew she were, to have the fairest stars in all the heaven, having some business to then ask her eyes to twinkle in their place till they return. What if her eyes were there, they in her head? Twink. The brightness of her cheek would shame those stars as daylight but a lamp. Her eyes in heaven would bright. Would through the air reach a stream so bright that birds would sing and think it were not night. See how she lays her hand upon that cheek. Oh, that I were a glove upon that hand, that I might touch that cheek. Yes, thank you, Romeo. That was my... Oh, uh, excuse me, Miss Capulet, you are not in this contest. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, you have Romeo. Deny thy father and accuse thy name, or thou wilt not be but sworn, my lord. And I don't want to be a Capulet. But thy name, that is my evidence. Thou art thyself, but I'm Montague. What's Montague? There's no hand, no foot, no arm, nor face, nor any other part belonging to a man. Oh, be some other name. Do not say the name. That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. So Romeo would, when Romeo called, attain that dear perfection which he owes without that title. Romeo, doth thy name, of the name which is no part of thee. Take all my Yes, thank you. 
Oh, no, I must say, not bad. But hey, I'm not voting. <laughs> oh, um, King Henry V is slightly delayed. He is coming straight from the battlefield, you see, and he may have to wash off some dirt and perhaps some blood, so he cannot be here right now. Um, <laughs> Yet, here's a spot. Uh, excuse me, my lady, what are you doing here? Out, damn spot, out, I say! One, two, well then, it's time to do it. Hell is murky. Fie, my lord, fie, a soldier and a feared. Yet who would have thought the old man to have so much blood in him? Come, uh, my lady, what are you talking about? The thing of five had a wife, where is she now? What, will these hands never be clean? No more of that, my lord, no more. Escapes? Yes, I can see that. No, 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 don't, don't send in the guards. I'm in the middle of a contest. Yes, I'll see her up. Here's the smell of blood still. All the perfumes of Arabia could not sweeten this little hand. <laughs> uh, Lady Macbeth, could you please come with me? There's knocking at the gate. To bed, to bed. Come, give me a hand. Uh, the What's done cannot be undone. To bed, come. But no, but... Uh, oh. <laughs> Once more into the breach, dear friends. Once more. <laughs> or close the wall with our English dead. In peace, there's nothing so becomes a man as modest stillness and humility. But when the blast of war blows in our ears, then imitate the action of the tiger. Stiffen the sinew, summon up the blood. Disguise their nature with heart favorite rage. Lend the eye a terrible aspect. Hold hard the breath and bend up every spirit to its full height. On, on, you noblest English. Let us swear that you are worth your breeding, which I doubt not. For there is none of you so mean and base that hath not noble luster in your eyes. <coughs> I see you standing there like greyhounds on the slip, straining to the start. Upon this charge, cry, God for Harry, England, and St. George! Could you please get the other contestants? It's fine for them. Let's <laughs> 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 Everyone, please stay down! <laughs> um, Your Majesty, what is Lady Macbeth doing here? Because I was told that she had to go to. We all thought she spoke rather well. Well, all right. Uh, who am I to disagree then? Ladies and gentlemen of the audience, could you please raise your hands in a vote when I call out a name? Who votes for Queen Titania? Hamlet? <laughs> <laughs> Romeo? <laughs> Juliet? <laughs> Lady Macbeth? <laughs> King Henry? <laughs> okay, that means that I may crown King Henry as winner of the Shakespeare Speaking Contest 2015. Thank you very much for bearing with us.